In this After Effects tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a shiny RGB style logo animation and the best part, no plugins needed. You'll learn some really cool tricks to get the glossy reflection effect and those eye-catching RGB glow splits. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clean professional looking logo animation that you can use anywhere. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp. For the width, I'm going with 2560 by 1440. This is 2K composition. You can, of course, go with full HD or 4K if you want to. Frame rate, I'm going to leave it at 25 FPS and duration is set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Now let's create another new composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo here with the exact same settings and press OK. Here I have a very simple png image that i'm going to be using as my logo you can of course use any text or logo that you have let's add some color to this so i'll go into effects and presets and search for fill effect double click to apply that and i'll keep it white i'll move my effects and preset panel right over here so we can work a bit more efficiently now let's create a linear wipe animation for our logo so i'm going to create a new composition call this logo mat and press ok drag in the logo here composition and press ctrl y to create a new solid called this wipe make sure the color is set to black and press ok now go and select the track mat option for our logo and set this to wipe in case if you don't see this track mat option you can click right here toggle switch mode and that should make it visible then make sure the wipe layer is selected go into effects and presets and search for linear wipe effect double click to apply that set the feather to 300 and the transition completion to 100 and let's create a keyframe on the transition completion. Press U so we can see the keyframe. Go to around 2 second and 15 frames should be fine and set this to 0. So now we have a very simple linear wipe. I'm going to change the direction of this to minus 25. So there you go. There we have a nice and simple logo revealing animation. Okay, so that is looking nice. Let's create another new composition called this logo glossy. Let's drag the logo here composition and I'm going to press Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Let's make this wipe and I'll call this ref for reflection. Place it below our logo and chain the track mat to logo here. Select the logo here composition or the layer. Go into effects and presets. Search for Vegas effect. Double click to apply this. Let's change the blend mode to transparent. And this is a very interesting effect. You can do a number of cool things using this. So I'm going to change the color of this to white. Let's bring down the segment to one and i'm going to play around a little bit with these settings the render settings so let's increase the midpoint opacity to one and i'm going to bring that up to 0.9 and the end opacity to one as well now select the reference layer press t to bring down the opacity and set this to around 30 should be fine let's go to around two second and 15 frames create a keyframe on the opacity go to three seconds and set this to zero we can select the keyframe right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them so if you have something like this, now select the reference layer, select the rectangle tool and let's create a mask like this. Maybe somewhere around there, let's change the color of the mask so it's visible and press Ctrl T and then I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. We can increase the size of the mask like this. There we go. Let's duplicate this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Change the color of this one to something different. So let's go with blue. Make sure it's selected. Press Ctrl T to duplicate it. And I'll place it somewhere around like so. All right. And go into the mask to properties and set the feather to around 250. Now we can select both of these masks, make sure the mask path is visible. So let's go to around 3 seconds. Again, make sure both the mask is selected. Press Ctrl T and let's go right here. Okay. Create a keyframe on the mask path. Go all the way up to the first frame. Again, make sure both the mask is selected. Press Ctrl T and I'm going to move them up like so. So we have something like this. So here at the start, we have a hard cut and then we have a soft feather for this mask and that is the look that I want to go for. I'm going to bring the feather up by 300. I think that looks much more smoother. Yep. I can also add a little bit feather to the red mask. So let's add a feather of 10. Okay. That is looking pretty nice. Now select both the layers, press control D to duplicate them. Make sure to move them at the top and I'm going to remove the Vegas from this one and let's 
add a fast box blur. I'm going to increase that to around two. Okay. All right. And then what we can do is move them a few frames forward like so, so that we have a little bit of more variation, as you can see, looking really nice. Also, I'll copy the fast box blur effect, control C and paste it on the below one, control V and bring that down to somewhere on one just to make it a bit more smoother. Yep. That is looking really nice. Now let's create some strokes for our animation. So let's go right here, create a new composition called this logo stroke underscore zero one press ok drag the logo your composition and go into effects and presets search for vegas effect double click set this to transparent make it white set the width to three and bring down these segments to two let's animate the length so i'll bring that down to zero and create a keyframe go to around four seconds and set this to one so we have a very nice and simple animation. Now let's add a little bit of rotation. For this, I will be using a very simple expression. So hold Alt and click on the rotation stopwatch. Type in time 50. So now we have this really nice animation as you can see. Go right here, press U. And I think I want to add a fade out animation for the length of the Vegas. So what I'll do is I'll go to one second and set the length to 0.4. And at the very end, I'm going to set this back to zero. Then select this keyframe, go into keyframe assistant and let's ease out this and select these two keyframes, keyframe assistant and easy ease. So now we have something like this. So we have a nice in animation as well as a smooth out animation. Now let's duplicate this, press control D and change the color of this to something different. Select this and press control D one more time. Change the track mat of this to logo year two and then delete the Vegas effect from this one. Select this and I'm going to add a fast box blur effect. Good effects and preset. Fast box blur, double click to apply that and let's increase this to 10 as well. The width of the Vegas so that we can see the blur happening right here. So I think 20 should be fine. Also, we can increase the midpoint opacity to one. So we have something that looks like this. Pretty nice, I think. So our stroke one is ready. Let's duplicate this. So we have stroke two, double click to open that up. Now in this, I'm going to select the logo here. That is the top composition. Press U so we can see the keyframes. Let's delete this keyframe. Go to four second and set this to one. So we have a continuous animation like that. We can delete these two logo layers and we can just focus on this one. Let's increase the midpoint opacity of this one to one and also increase the midpoint position to 0.7. I'm going to bring down the start opacity to 0.1 and also increase the width to 10. Then press T to bring down the opacity and let's bring that down to 25%. So we have a very soft animation. Let's duplicate this, press Ctrl D. I'll change the color to something different and duplicate this one more time. Change the track mat to logo here too. I'm gonna delete the Vegas effect from this one. Select this and let's bring down the width to five. Also make sure the opacity is set to all the way up to 100. So now you can see we have a blur background which works as a nice edge if i zoom in you can see some glowing edges it basically gives an idea or a, a sense of glow when we use this particular technique and this looks very nice i think again i'm going to duplicate the logo stroke one press ctrl d so now we have logo stroke three i'm going to open that up and let's delete this so now we have just this logo animation so now we have logo stroke one logo stroke two and logo stroke three. Now I also want to add a nice reflection in the final base of our animation. So I'll create a new composition called this reflection. Press OK. And here I have an HDRI video that I'll be using for this particular tutorial. By the way, you can download the free project file from the link in the description below to follow along. Uh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but anyways, now you know. Let's drag the logo here composition on top and change this to logo here track mat. Now we have something like this. Select the HDRI layer, go into effects and presets, search for CC glass. Go in the surface and set this to logo here, set this to alpha and I'm going to bring that up to 25, this one to 100 and this one to minus 200. So now you can see it looks more like a reflection. And I'm going to leave the light as it is and the shading as well. Let's add another effect called CC blobby lies. This will overall enhance the effect bring down the softness to around 15 and this one i'm going to leave it at 25 i think this is looking pretty nice already 
Yep, that's looking really nice. So here we have our reflection ready. Now we can start building up our main animation. So I'll create a new composition called this animation. Let's start by adding a background. So press Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Make it black. Press OK. Let's add the logo stroke two right here and on top i'll add the logo here composition change the track mode of this to logo here and also change the blend mode of this one to screen and the top one to add then i'm going to select the logo stroke to go into effects and presets search for fast box blur double click to apply that and let's set this to around 10 then go into effects and presets again and i'm going to add a nice glow to this so i'll use the default glow that comes inside of after effects also we need to make sure that the mat is inverted so i'll make sure to turn on this icon let's increase the glow radius to 300 so that is the look that i'm going for okay now we can duplicate this so logo stroke 2 i'm going to duplicate that place it on the top and set this to add as well we can delete the fast box blur effect let's duplicate the glow and increase the glow radius to around 450 or something and then press t to bring down the opacity and set this to around 50. let's also animate the opacity so i'll go to around let's say four seconds select the logo stroke two layers press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe and let's go to five seconds and set this to zero let's also create opacity animation for this layer we can change the color just so that we know it's a different layer i'll go right here set the opacity keyframe to 100 bring that back to three seconds and let's set this to zero so now we have something like this okay let's press ctrl a to select them all press u to close them up and let's add a logo stroke 3 we can change the color to a different one maybe red go into effects and presets and add a directional blur i'll increase the blur length to 500 so now we have these nice lines and we can add some glow to this just to enhance them let's increase the glow radius to 160 maybe we can increase the glow intensity to 2 and that is looking really nice i think as you can see I think two is a bit too much one was fine now let's duplicate this press ctrl d and change the blur direction of this one to 90 duplicate this one more time set this to 45 one more time and set this to minus 45 and then select all these four layers and change the blend mode of them to add now you can see because we are using so much of glows you can see we get these kind of color bendings so to fix this what we have to do is hold alt and click on this icon this will switch the complete composition to 16 BPC and that will get and that will help us to get rid of all the color bendings. So that is looking really nice. Let's duplicate this one more time. I'm going to change the color of this one to something like green and get rid of all the effects. All I want to do is press scale or press S to bring down the scale properties and let's set this to 95 just to add a layer of detail right here. Maybe 95 is a bit too much. 97 I think should be fine. Okay, so that is looking really nice. I think 96 should be good yep duplicate this one more time and go into fashion presets search for fast box blur let's set the radius to around five now on top of this we will add the logo glossy layer that we created so i'll go to somewhere around one second and let's move this forward in time so now we have something like this then we will add the logo matte layer at around let's say somewhere around three seconds should be good then we'll add the logo reflection composition that is this one and let's set this to around two seconds change the blend mode of this to screen and the blend mode of the glossy layer to screen as well so this is looking really nice let's create a new null object place it at the top call this scale control and let's parent all these layers except the background to the scale control press s to bring down the scale property i'll go at the very start let's set this to around 130 create a keyframe go all the way up to 10 seconds and i'll set this to around 80 so now when we preview this we have a simple zoom out animation this looks really cool now i'll go to main render composition and drag the animation composition right here let's go into effects and presets and search for shift channel this effect will help us achieve that nice rgb look so i'll change the blend mode of this to add and turn off the green and the blue channel duplicate this and for this one i'm going to turn off the red channel and turn on the green channel not full on actually so let's set this to green let's press ctrl d again for this one full off and this one to blue and then i'm going to just move them by one or two frames i think one frame should be fine and now we should get a really nice look yep as you can see 
I'll set this to half. I think it's getting a bit too heavy on the system. And also I can add a quick new adjustment layer called this CC and put effects and presets. Search for curves effect, add it. And then we can also add a noise effect. I'll set the noise to five and create a little bit of more contrast using the curves. So now let's quickly preview the complete animation. So as you can see, this is looking very nice. And the best part is that all the things that we did are completely procedural, meaning you can easily change the logo to something different. You can add a text, you can even add color. So let's see if I want to go into effects and presets. Let, let's go with a gradient ramp effect and I'll add some nice color to this. So let's go with a nice yellow for this one. And for this, I'll go with a nice red. So something like this. And if I go back, it gets updated. So here we have our animation looking pretty nice. So, you know, have fun, play around with the, all the techniques that we learned in today's video. And if you post it anywhere on social media, do tag me. I would love to check it out. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.